Hello, I'm sure you can hear me now. All right. So it's going to be a little bit. Uh, I have to hide my screen and go back to the starting soon screen so I can sign into Microsoft. Ooh. Th this has been my entire day, by the way. Just shit not working. I'll be right back.
All right. Maybe we're cool now. Who knows? I just wanted to play a fun game, guys. You know, I just, that's all I wanted. And do I, mm, you know, today, mm, the world has done nothing but fucking. You know, we're playing Yakuza like a dragon. On the Xbox, Long unfortunately. Long have I waited for this day. So what are you guys feeling? Are we skipping dialogue? Face. Are we skipping dialogue to just get to the funny gameplay? Iaman was the name of the courtier you murdered in Suraga. In this story? It that is a really neat story. Father. You don't mean. You're that girl from before. I'm not that girl anymore. I, I think we're just gonna let him play out for, for a vengeance. While. Do you know how many times I've awoken in the night, having dreamt of drawing this dagger? Actually, I feel like we're gonna skip some of the beginning stuff because it's like actually genuinely not relevant to anything. The kid was dressed like a girl in the play, and he went to get food with his dad, and his dad got dead. Stop, Bushio, you That's what you missed. Shit. What? And get caught? Get fucked, you cum stain! Can you guys hear the game all right? Take a fucking hand. Did you hear that guy yell, get fucked, you cum stain? Pretty all right. Yes, I know Stop, how to run. Damn it. <laughs> Fucking up the button prompts in this game is incredibly fun. Where are you going? Come here, you bastard. He threw a rock at me! He threw a rock at me! Wait up! I guess I caught him. <laughs> Looks like I shook him off. You got it, Noodles. Ah! Ushio, pal. I know you're not an idiot. Why did you think you'd get away with hawking this? There's nothing illegal about selling animal fuck videos. Believe me, it's educational. Oh, I believe you. The problem is you were calling it uncensored porn and selling it to dumb, horny kids. Come on, Ichiban, do me a solid. Remember all the good times we had in middle school? <laughs> and let's be real. Dude, it's these games like are nuts, okay? Because it's bottom line. Actually, it is. Big time. Kids these I, days I are genuinely can't be sure that my, these videos the aren't going to get taken about down. Porn scammers <laughs> on our turf. You can't have that kind of shit staining our good name. So come on, cough up the cash you squeeze out of them. He fucking brass knuckled him. Hey, did you forget who you're dealing with? Of course not. Just some Yakuza street trash who's gotta learn when to quit. Oh, we're gonna fuck this boy. You're less shit. Choices, choices. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Cool. It's, it's gotta take me through all the tutorial shit. I, I promise you I know how to play this game already. <laughs> you 
like this? Cool. I got 500 yen. And I've leveled up. That's crazy. Ichiban Kasuga. Ichiban Aniki. You okay? Bomb bomb. Oh, hell yeah. Check this out, man. <laughs> Whoa, payday! <laughs> that guy was pretty fucking loaded. He was always coming up with crazy business schemes back in the day. Well, some of them must have worked. The cash you got there might hit our quota today all by itself. What are you talking about? We're gonna give this all back to those kids. Uh, after all the work we did to get it, man? Yeah, dude. Hold up. You want me to track down every single kid this guy shafted? For real? Yes, for real. What part of this is hard to understand? <sighs> Nothing. I get it. Fuck. Yeah, hey, look at this real quick. Huh? How bad is it? Fucker got me with his brass knuckles. Yeah, you've got a good sized lump there, dude. No, you idiot. I mean, my hair. I just got it done. And it was looking real fresh, too. I can't believe this shit, stupid Ushio. Well, let me see if I can fix it. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. You just gotta, you know. Don't touch it. I pay good money for this shit. Oh, those guys. Damn, I choked. They took a bunch of hits to the face. <laughs> You're always getting pummeled there. I think you like it. Are you calling me a masochist? <laughs> Hell yeah. You always let him get some punches in, even when you could wipe the floor with him. I know how you fight hard when you wanna. Yes, I do let him do that. Pretty masochist, if you ask me. <laughs> Unless you're training to become a pro wrestler or something. Okay, fine. I guess I can see how it comes across that way. I'm just oh, doing, I know what to do here. You know, I... <laughs> Look, I like this life with all. <laughs> well, time to give those kids some refunds. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Now we're playing. Oh, hold on. Can do better. I oftentimes do do better. How do I? I swear I was able to change the controls so that I sprint with whatever. Whatever. I guess it's just gonna be the A button. And that might have been the sequel that you can change the controls in. Uh, so I'm gonna stream for extra long tonight, um, I think, so that I can, run. so that I can get through all the intro stuff in one stream. Mm. Um, that way it can be a little more fun in the future. You kept me waiting. Haven't Ain't nobody you? waiting now. <laughs> oh, she fell down. I skipped her dialogue so hard it put her on the floor. What are we doing here, boys? <laughs> no, I didn't kill her. She's drunk. Are we going to help her up or yell at her? being drunk. 
in the middle of the day. <laughs> hey, what did I just finish telling you? I don't know what you just finished telling her because I skipped it. I skipped it. I apologize to anyone Alcohol wearing headphones. Alcoholism ain't no laughing matter. You want to end up dead? <sighs> that being I'm said, sorry. I'm not going to stop doing it. <laughs> She probably wasn't, if we're being honest here. You're back! Oh, I don't Why care, you dude. This is a video game. The intro shit is always boring as hell. Game settings. Uh, more like a grunt. He's a. Uh, he's just a a, a a random yakuza member, which is like the Japanese mob. Oh, look at this. We're going to fight these guys. Oh. <laughs> Yo. We're going to beat ah. these guys, though. Oh, so now you tell me how to do the guard. Come on now. Check this out. Cool. Come on now. Check this out. Come on now. Check this out. I've always loved the over-the-top animations in these games. They get even crazier and better later. Arigato gozaimasu. No, I don't care. It really does. I like how I like how Ichiban runs. I know that's a small detail, and like. Nobody cares, but I like how Ichiban runs. <laughs> a toilet! Intro shit! Get out of my way! I just wanna hit guys with a bat. Oh, Haniki! Is our guy here? I don't care if our guy's here. Oh, we're gonna punch this guy. That's Hiratsuka. That's what it sounds like when you skip a dialogue in this game. The battle is on. Cool. Bonk. Oh, you fell down. Come on now! Check this out! That's how you do it! I feel the stats going up! <laughs> I'm not strong.
What? This... Hey. What? Looks more like money to me. All right, great son. Like I said, I only wanted your wallet. Huh? He really oh. didn't try. Okay. He okay. didn't hit me with that Let's big old hammer me one too. time. Hey, Hariki! What's up with you? Why did you What take does Aniki money? mean? Here at Tsuka won't screw Somebody us. Google what that means, because that's not his off. name. We just give him time. How you figure that? You didn't he have a what? Uh, Look, here at Chica, what he was. Hey. Hello. Sorry, just. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 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 <laughs> sorry. I can't I forgot. <laughs> Me too. Oh, you just let me know when the young master lets you off your leash. Uh, I'll kill time until then. So we've been running around doing collections, getting money from people. You know, as a mafia does. Um, and I just got called to babysit the big boss's son, who is a cripple. That's right. I'm gonna skip dialogue, but I'm gonna explain what's going on because I've I've played a good portion of this game already. Where is he? Hey, Miss. Where's the young mess? I, I mean, have you seen Masato Arakawa? I'm very sorry, but I haven't seen him today, sir. Oh, damn it. Sorry I'm late, young master. Something came up while I was doing collections. Anything else you want to announce? We be rolling, yo. Did you forget what day it is? Uh, of course not. It's Yumino-san's birthday, right? You didn't come without a gift, did you? No, I brought something. It's just, I didn't have much, so it's not the greatest. <laughs> Whatever. As long as you didn't tell Dad about this. You did it. Did you? Of course not. If he asks where we went, just tell him we went shopping. Yes, sir. The old fool. He still treats me like a child. He's just worried about you. You mean a lot to him. Don't talk like you know me. <laughs> Sorry. I know he's in a wheelchair and all, but is it, it it's okay to call him a bitch, right? <laughs> he's kind of a bitch. <laughs> Duck in here for a sec. I want to make out a little bit before we go in there. Ephedrine injector. I had it imported. Uh, 
Effer? It's a specialized performance enhancer. It stimulates the sympathetic nervous system, so even someone with my condition will be able to stand and walk just like anybody else. The effect will be immediate, but it won't last more than a few hours. But how... how did you get something like that? Today is my woman's birthday. I can't embarrass her by going in there like this. That sounds crazy, though. Don't you think it's kind of risky? No. It just hasn't been approved for use in Japan, that's all. Injected here. Huh? None of this sounds good to me, young master. We don't really know what else it might do to you. <laughs> You're a fucking wuss. That is an excellent question. I feel like he should have an electric wheelchair. Young master? Young master? Young master! Them fucking eyes, dog. He wakes up and he's just like, Why my pee pee hard? <laughs> Let's go. Young master? So, he, he's had this condition from birth. How, how did he just, just know how to walk? Welcome! Welcome. How, how did he just know how to walk? He's just doing it. He's not wobbly. He's not doing it wrong. I, I think he's been secretly dosing himself with that shit for years and just walking around in front of his mirror. <laughs> That's gotta be it. That's gotta be it. Good evening, Masato-san. Oh my goodness, are you all better? I can't believe it. Hey, where's Yumino-san? Um, we'll call her as soon as we can. Soon as you can? You better mean now. Well, you see, she just sat down with another customer. She's been very busy today because it's her birthday. Hey! I just need a minute with him to explain our situation. Don't worry. I'll be nice. Oh, yeah? Well, happy two days early birthday. Hey. Something wrong here. Hi. Hmm? No. <sighs> Yo. <clears throat> Yo. If I remember correctly, she's over by the shitter. Yeah. No. Oh. That's not it. Where's the shitter? Where's the shitter? Ah, there you are. I found her. Sorry it's so busy today. Nothing to be sorry about. If you didn't have customers on your birthday, I'd have to assume everyone else here was blind. <laughs> <laughs> How about this? I'm going to skip what it lets me skip with the A button. And if it doesn't let Who me skip you? it with the A button, we'll watch mm, it. Well, um, That seems like a pretty good happy medium. I'm the young lady's escort for tonight. <laughs> Ichan, what are you doing? I believe this club is first cut. What are you first doing? Served. No need to make things complicated. What are you doing, Step Let's Yakuza? Let's just say we came first and leave it at that. You understand. This guy's rude. What the hell is this? 
I'd ask you the same. What? This is the, this is, please, I, this new thing. That's so Isa, I, I knew you'd take any. No. And I want your stankin' money. I couldn't accept that. Please. No. He didn't take the bribe because he's the chief of police. Oh, commissioner. You know what I mean. Um. <laughs> I'm all young actors. Hey, just oh, this part's important. You all, you all have to remember this for later. This is the part where Ichiban takes a dump. I think I had one too many. Some wingman I am. It's very important Why for later. You need wait. to know that Ichiban uh, takes a dump here. Wait. I'm going home. I don't even want to breathe the same air as that punk. Who the hell is he? Masato-san? He's... Well, he's the son of a Yakuza. How do you stand the man? Well, of course to you he's not a man. He's a big walking wallet. Stop! This is serious. It's starting to freak me out how much he spends and drinks. Just now he gave me something super expensive and said next time it'll be a condo. So? You could turn around and sell his trinkets the next day. And if he found out, what do you think he'd do to me? <laughs> Are you talking about violence? <laughs> At the first hint of that, I'll throw the bastard behind bars. Yes, I know you would. And you're right. I should sell it tomorrow. <laughs> I didn't think there were still idiots walking around believing money can buy them love. <laughs> All that matters is you're not one of them. Now get back out there and squeeze him dry. <laughs> okay. See you later. So, this is a hostess club. It's basically a bar where you pay the girls to be nice to you. <laughs> That's the whole thing. And Mr. Wheelchair over there fell in love with one of the girls. And Ichiban just heard all of that. <laughs> How long have you been there? Um, we cannot let master. him around a hostess club. <laughs> so, did you finish your business? Pretty much, yeah. I'm heading back. Use this to pay the bill. If there's anything left, might as well use it to wipe your ass. That poor, poor cripple. This is the early 2000s equivalent of simping for an e-girl. Yep. Let's meet up at Theater Square and walk to the office. Sounds good. In fact, that's exactly what it is. Well, they're not whores necessarily. They, they just be nice to you for money. Oh, are we fighting? I guess we're fighting. Cool. Come on now. Check this out. Their names are punkling. Yeah. 
Come on now. Check this out. I love the rag dolls. Come on now. Check this out. More. That's how you do it. Step on something enough times, it just fucking explodes. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I can't, I can't control myself. Oh, oh, gee, oh god, oh no. <laughs> oh, I guess we're fighting. Oh, it's just one of us. the wrong way. That's what happened. Scatter! Hey, scatter! Did I mention... Where? Oh, am I just supposed to go to the middle of this square here? Uh, hang on, guys. I'll be right back. It's me. I'm back. I'm here. Hello, friend. How are you? Yep. Yep.
Him named what Joe. What happened with that porn peddler? Him named Joe. Sir, Aniki took care of him today. He won't ever pull that shit again without going through us first. Okay. And how much did you get from him? Uh, about that, uh... I gave the money back to the high schoolers who bought the videos. It was the fair thing to do, and the kids were grateful to our family. I see. And that debt we bought? Oh, yeah. Went off without a hitch. Here's the guy's wallet. Just as you requested, sir. The empty wallet. <sighs> All the money's there. Including interest. Uh -huh. Wow, excellent work. Is that what you thought I would say? This bill strap is from the young master's bank. Ichi, what's the real story? In the bathroom? He picked there is up the no real in the story. Bathroom. The young master gave that to me, I swear. He gave it to you. Or did you beg him for it to make quota? Begging for scraps won't fix your incompetence. I didn't beg! Look at I this have motherfucker. too much pride to pull something like that! He's been itching to hit us. Then he threw a cigarette that he just lit. He lit that specifically to throw it. You us. can't earn for the family! <laughs> What's that look? Pretending it didn't hurt. You don't even know pain. Not for a Yakuza, anyway. A Yakuza takes real responsibility. Hey! Bring me the knife. Bring me the knife. Fuck you, Joe. Ain't nobody like you, Joe. Kind of name is Joe. Fuck you, Do Joe. It. What's wrong? You don't know how real Yakuza atone? Fine. I'll show you. <laughs> if you're lucky, it'll slip That's right true. between he has the joints against... for a clean cut. <laughs> if you're lucky. <laughs> Good to see you, boss. Welcome back, boss. Welcome back, sir. Ichi, walk with me. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Tell me if you can hear who the boss is played by. Don't look it up. Just tell me if you can hear the voice actor behind Masumi Arakawa. Boss, you saved my ass back there. Can't you at least try to get along with Joe? I don't know, he hates my guts. Just because, well, I'm not much of an earner. Try putting yourself in his shoes. He's doing his duty as a family treasure. Sure, I know that, but... It's like we just have different visions of what a Yakuza should be, you know? To me, it's more about duty and standing up for people, not money. And it's okay to see things differently. That's the strength of the Arakawa party. S sorry, party? No, it's <laughs> not It's not him. It's not so different than those games you like, is it? Everyone has a certain skill they bring to the table. Some people are like you, charging in headfirst without a thought. Others cover your ass, like Mitsu. And some are better at cracking the whip. That's Joe. All of these people keep the organization running. Yeah, and you're the king of them all. The king? <laughs> to me, all of you are more like sons than subjects. <laughs> Speaking of, you looked after Masato today, right? Yes, sir. Sorry to keep asking you to help me with something so personal. How was he? 
fine. That's good to hear. These days, he doesn't even answer my calls. I may be king of the Arakawa family, but to my other family, it's nothing but a title. <laughs> well, Ichiban, why don't we go get our last meal of the 20th century? Yeah, sure. It's George Takei. Did you see that? I guess nobody cares about oh PDA Oh my. Rumors. That reminds me. You find yourself a girl yet? No, sir. I'm like a reverse chick magnet. <laughs> Don't be so quick to throw in the towel. <laughs> Easy for you to say. You probably had girls all over you at my age. What? I won't abide such slander. No, oh, I... You use the past tense. Growing silver has only made me a bigger hit with the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of all the women over the years, there was only one. Just one I might have started a family with. Yeah? Yes. Masato's mother. Oh. I've never told you the details, have I? No, sir. I, uh, I do know that she passed away. Yes. Let me start on New Year's Eve 24 years ago. I was just a grunt in the Hikawa family, but the patriarch asked me if I'd marry his daughter. She was the young master's mother? Just listen. I love someone else. Her name was Akane. Uh-oh. What did... I was naive. <laughs> I thought if I ignored my boss's daughter, she'd get annoyed and dump me. The whole time, I was dating Akane in secret on the side. I remember the moment she told me she was pregnant. Oh, man. I knew Masumi right Arakawa then what I needed player. to do. <laughs> I had to step up as a man. Problem was... I couldn't find the right moment to tell the boss about Akane and our child. By the time I worked up the courage to tell him, Akane was almost due. So I got down on my hands and knees and told the boss I already had a girl. He didn't let you off easy, I take it. Oh, he had his guys beat the shit out of me. I entered the new year barely able to move. If only it could have been over and done with then. Huh? The boss gave an order to the family. An order to kill Akane. What? Kill her? Yes. I couldn't believe it myself. But he was serious. Even though we were a small family, we were very good at making people disappear. And when we killed, the body was never found. That's what was waiting for Akane and me. For bringing shame to the Patriarch. <sighs> to this day, I have no idea how I got out alive. When I learned what was happening, I fled. I don't think they expected that after how badly they beat me. At the same time, Akane was at the hospital having the baby. <gasps> I called her and told her to leave as soon as possible. I knew Yakuza were already on their way to the hospital, so I made a plan. I told her we could meet at this cafe so we could skip town. Cafe Alps? Yes. I waited and waited, but she never came. But just as I was about to lose all hope, I got a call. Oh, waka waka. Akane! Hello? Where are you? I thought they caught you. Our, our baby is here. Huh? Our son. What? Yeah, I got away, but they're not far behind. I, I have to keep moving. Where are you? I'll come get you. Shinjuku Station. By the lockers. 
Okay, stay there. Try to blend into the crowd. Honestly, they're here. What do I do? Akane, they're looking for a woman with a baby. Hide him in a locker and walk out. Keep a low profile. My poor baby in a locker? What are you saying? Uh, don't worry. I'll come get him as soon as I can. Once you're in a safe place, call the manager at Cafe Alps. Tell him where you are. Now hurry. Put the baby in a locker. Put the baby in the box. Okay. Put him in a <laughs> box. Akane. Hey, there she is. That's her. Go, go, go. Hey! Akane! <coughs> Where's the woman? Damn it! Where'd she go? Hurry up and find her! <laughs> Shit! Welcome back, Noodles. I don't know. I think in the long run, you didn't miss much. Hold on! I'll get you out! What's going on? You're so crazy, Damn it! Open, you piece of shit! Open! Should we call the police? Although, I guess this is kind of a weird time to come. And that's where babies come from, everyone. That's right, that's why parenting is so hard. In order okay? to get a baby, you have to go to a, a set of lockers and punch oh, it open. Damn it! Move! Move! It seems like old Masumi got a dud, though. <laughs> I rescued our child and ran to a hospital. <laughs> The doctor examined Masato you did. and you said came from he had a locker. multiple organ failure due to low body temperature. So that's why the All that stuff about mommies chair. and daddies, that's fake yes. news. It was that cold inside the locker. Tell him, Club Chubby. And the parent. Babies come from lockers. If I had found him five minutes earlier, it could have prevented the complications. Boss, it wasn't your fault. I mean, you got there as soon as you could. I just want to apologize to you. You're burdened with Masato's care because of me. I don't think of it that way, sir. I never saw Akane again after that. She ran to a bar she knew, but the Hikawa family was already no. there. No, no, the baby didn't As die. As I was taking Masato um, to the hospital, but but being they uh, were taking her away. No, no, no. It's not just all cutscenes. This they is the intro, her. so it's a lot of cutscenes, <sighs> just like every Japanese game. A few days later, uh, the baby didn't die. Uh, the baby, uh, he got him out of the locker, but his the lungs Inkawa were fucked up from being too cold. To and that's the wheelchair guy. Did you? The baby is the wheelchair guy. Oh, never mind. Forget it. <laughs> Sorry for rambling on and on. But I don't forgive you. There's Masumi. something I've always wanted to tell you, even if only by oath. 
I consider you a son as well. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that cutscene was so long, my controller turned off. <laughs> Sorry, that's. Well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Squeaky Wheels is his it. son. Let's see. Hmm? I'm starving. Me too. The, the the plot in this game so often it'll make you go what well seeing as <laughs> I'm the king and all how about we feast on the king of Chinese food what could that be oh gyoza <laughs> No, not Yosa. Peking Duck. Okay, 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 okay. So, so... Those scenes that I skipped, like, as soon as the game started, um, you know, the, the, the people doing the, the play. So, that was him and his father. And what happened was they went to get Peking Duck and the Yakuza killed his dad. So this is kind of symbolic because he's getting the same meal with us. I felt like I had to explain that because I skipped it all. <laughs> Duck? Is that even edible? Mm-hmm. The duck is dried in the sun, then roasted. And the skin comes out so crispy and delicious, you'll love it. You peel off the perfectly brown skin, wrap it in seasoned dough. Then your mouth is filled with the sweet and spicy fragrance of the sauce. Damn, that does sound Did good. Did old Arakawa make you hungry? Yes, which is why in ancient China, only the Imperial Court ate it. Oh, so it really is the king of Chinese food. Yep. But I wonder if we can find it in Kambochu. There's gotta be a place serving it somewhere. Oh, we're playing now. Cool. Out of my way, buttholes. I'm gonna break all these bikes. <laughs> we we come from that super emotional and 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 crazy scene just just to Ichiban breaking everybody's bikes. <laughs> I love this game. Great, great. Come on. Yeah, it exploded. Oh, it's back here. Oh, there's nothing back here. I forgot we're in the intro sequence, so nothing's going to be happening. I did. I chose violence. I'm in the Yakuza. I always choose violence. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta send a text real quick. Uh, Otaku Nader is running somewhere to pick up some tables for our yard sale tomorrow. But yeah, so Yakuza, or or in in Japan it's called Like a Dragon, um, is a, a a long-standing series by Sega. Uh, but up until this point, with this game, they've only ever been in Japanese. This is the first dubbed one.
Seriously? Hey! You guys open? We need pancake duck! Relax, Jibang. It's almost the new year. I love the how much of a fucking child at home Cassidy waiting is. to bring it in <laughs> with their families. Man, I really wanted to try it though. <laughs> Another time. I promise. Yeah? Thank you, sir. <laughs> that duck got lucky today. But he won't get away from us next time. <laughs> 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 Have a good New Year's, you two! Ichiban, what have I told you? Oh, sorry. Be careful where you laugh outdoors. The only time a Yakuza should laugh with his teeth is when he's with family or when he's in deep shit. I know. Right. Reputation is everything for a Yakuza. Got it, sir. Well, since we missed our shot at the duck, shall we go to our usual Oden place? <sighs> Sounds good. Now, what's wrong, Ichi? You look like you're about to shit yourself. Fuck off! Don't you stop by to help out at home every now and then? Uh, it might have been. Not for a while, I guess. <laughs> Although probably not. I don't think you there's actual the ads where you in this up. game. It's not like it was the most normal I don't, place I don't think for they a kid to be. Placement. No matter how it happened, Buckshot Roulette? Um, One day you won't I've, be able to I've, go I've, back, I've seen you know. playthroughs of it. Um... I, I probably won't play it on stream, uh, but I'll, I'll probably eventually play it for myself. 23 years uh. ago, on <clears throat> January 1st, I came into this world screaming inside this sleazy soap land. I, I, I definitely prefer longer game. Sorry, the mic might be too close. I, I definitely prefer longer lands. games that we can uh, then just continue every week. Uh, that way everybody has to come back every week or they're going to miss older. a bunch of stuff. When <laughs> I say dad, but we, we don't really care about Kasuga's baby pictures. When Ichiban was a baby, his dad died and he was adopted by the According employees society, of a whorehouse. All those people who raised me are scum. Well, I Not an escort club, or a, a, a hostess club, what? like we were at Never. earlier, You're an actual everything whorehouse. I want to be. <laughs> You're like a god. <laughs> so, first I'm a king, and now I'm a god? He's looking at that cigarette like he wants when to I eat it. When I met you, I had just graduated middle school. After my foster dad died, I dropped out of school and just started drifting. Oh, look at young Ichiban. He's so angsty. Fights, shaking people down for easy money. But karma always catches up to a dumbass punk. Eventually, I beat up the wrong guy, a Yakuza. If little so, baby yeah, Ichiban can beat you up, I don't think you should be a Yakuza. The shit out of me. Right? I thought I was a goner, but I made one last ditch effort to live and yelled out a name. Arakawa. What? The Arakawa family. If you kill me, They'll hunt every last one of you down. In those days, the name Arakawa the Assassin was like a whispered threat. I didn't give a shit about Yakuza or who they were at the time, but I knew that name. I thought if I name dropped them, maybe they'd freak out and let me live. You're saying you're Arakawa? <laughs> a kid like you? But my plan backfired. 
big time. Turned out, these guys were in a huge turf dispute with the Arakawa family. One of your little brats damn near beat my boy to death. Says his name's Ichiban Kasuga. Well, he ain't getting away. Not in the sorry state we put him in. You want him back, you better send Patriarch Arakawa personally. I knew the jig was up. I'd never even met Arakawa, so obviously he wasn't gonna come. Maybe we ought to just kill him, Oniki. Arakawa ain't gonna show his face to pick up his trash. Looks like you're shit out of luck, you little brat. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. You guys always go this hard on kids? Where's this brat of mine you say you've got? <laughs> Arakawa-san, the little you like that tater you chip ASMR? Out. We can't just hand him back to you without some compensation. Somebody's got to take responsibility. I see. Well, how about a finger? I'll trade you my finger for him. Sound fair? I'll just borrow this. Right then. Let's go, yellow shit. Uh, I what? Why would who do what? You, you saved my life. Why? How can I think? <laughs> Save your blubbering gratitude. That finger wasn't for you. <laughs> I didn't even realize I did that. <laughs> I'm a Yakuza. For us, reputation is everything. I'm gonna have to clip that. My face, my name, they mean something. What do you think it would have meant if I begged them to return you? The whole Arakawa family would have paid for it. If a Yakuza shows weakness, he's done. I did the only thing that would preserve my family's cred. Not the only thing. You could have just said you didn't know me. Why not do that? Why not, indeed? Maybe I wanted to make an impression on a kid who knew my name. <laughs> and at that moment, I saw my life's path ahead of me. I'm gonna kiss this guy's ass until the day I die. And he did. He did. He absolutely kissed this guy's ass forever. Welcome back, Patriarch Arakawa! Back the fuck up! Fuck you, Joe! How many times I gotta say this? We got no cups for punks like you. Never mind the kid, Joe. Joe a bitch. I didn't care how often they ignored me or what they said. I stood outside that office every day. In the pouring rain. Under the scorching sun. Welcome back, Patriarch Arakawa! Who's he? You know him? Go on ahead, Masato. Kid, the Yakuza isn't something to aspire to. Haven't your parents explained that to you? I don't have parents, sir! I had a foster dad, but he's dead now! Oh, shit. You're a little orphan. Haha. <laughs> Come on. Sir. It been 100 days since I'd met Arakawa-san.
Man, that Odin is always so freaking good. Thanks for treating me, boss. No, he didn't get promoted. Sure thing. It's almost time for the countdown. Hey, Jack. Hey, welcome back. It. Long time no see. You came here alone. Blah blah New blah. Year's we're gonna beat these guys up. That's Sometime. what you're missing. Told you I would hey. explain everything I skipped. Who told you time to go home and listen to? Hold on. Are you guys yakuza? <laughs> you. Hey, boss, leave this to me. I'm gonna punch these guys. It's been a few years since I saw you fight. Hopefully you're stronger now. <laughs> Just wait. Pokemon with Japanese men instead of magical creatures. Cool. Check this out. Come on. That's how you do it. Dude, all the music in this game slaps. Who is this guy? He's crazy. You okay, miss? <laughs> Get away from me! Hey, come on, at least thank the boss. It's fine. Just forget it, Ichi. It's Yakuza. Remember, we're Yakuza. Yeah, I get it. Now then, I'll see you later, Ichi. You better show up at the office next year. <laughs> Wouldn't miss it for the world. Good night, boss. <laughs> you too. Man, he's such a badass. Now, I wouldn't mind another drink. Super beer. <laughs> Sir, you have to wake up. Wake up now. Sir. Uh, You're drunk. Oh, shit. Go home. Fell asleep. It's dangerous to fall asleep outdoors, you know. Can I see identification? Uh, identification? Yes, like your license. A violent crime was committed out here recently. Shit. My wallet's gone. Shit. Uh, you see why you shouldn't sleep out here? You need to file a stolen item report now? I'm busy, so you'll have to go down to the station. Hi, boss. First of all, Happy New Year. Sorry to call you first thing in the morning, Ichi. No problem. I'm up and ready to seize the day. Can you come by the office? Sure thing. You want to go out for the first shrine visit of the year? No. Just come to the office. Try to be inconspicuous. Uh, okay. You got it. Well, he sure is acting weird. And the music's intense. We'll break some bikes. 
you, get, you gotta break bikes or you, you get too stressed out. That's that's a game mechanic. Um, if you get too stressed out, you actually game over. So you, you have to break the bikes. That's that's a, that's kind of a, like a cheat code. Okay, so this bike doesn't break. But it's okay because there's another bike here. Uh, so maybe maybe we can break this bike and it'll <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. The intro's long enough without me fucking around like that. <laughs> oh, cappers. Oh. You'll never take me alive, cappers. That's super cool. I I, I love SFM. Honestly, some of some of the most uh, some of the most impressive pieces of art on all of YouTube were made with Source Filmmaker. Like no lie. Are you any good at it? Oh, look at all these bikes, dude! We're gonna get so strong. Oh, they're not breaking. These must be dud bikes. Well, I mean, these kind of count. There we go. I'm am sorry. I'm sorry. I'm very easily distracted. Hold okay. Up. What family you from? Arakawa, and don't you forget it. Oh yeah, asshole! How about you don't forget your place? Yeah, fucker. Yeah? And who the fuck are you? The Sakaki family, dumbass. You heard him. He's the Sakaki family dumbass. Cool. That's a very prestigious title, being the Sakaki family dumbass. Check this out. Come on. I keep getting stabbed. I mean, I would like to stop getting stabbed. If at all. Yeah, like that. Cool. Check this out. Come on. Bonk. We fucking bonked him, boys. Nothing. I feel You've that. Always Jack. Got some kind I feel of that for with sure. The going on. Oh shit! That took a while. I've I've messed around with Source office. Filmmaker a little bit, not not enough to know how to do anything. Uh, I kind of gave up because that's what I do. I'm a giver upper. Uh, it's kind of like my biggest it's trait. Uh, that's what makes me so endearing, honestly. Boss, uh, I've got I've got no <laughs> no resilience or will. Good morning. Oh, Ichi. Have a seat. Sir! Stop. Just sit down. Uh, sure. It is too early in the morning to have my ass kissed. You know the Sakagi family, right? You mean the family we've been fighting with? Hmm. We're fighting them because of a rumor that they're connected to the Omi. But aren't the Omi all the way out in Kansai? Yes. They control the entire region. 
They're much bigger than most people realize. The Tojo clan has butted heads with them for years. It's a bitter rivalry. And what? The Sakaki family's cooperating with them? No. The Sakaki family isn't stupid enough to commit outright treason. But they have been selling intel to the Omi for some quick, easy cash. <sighs> I confronted them about it at an officer's meeting. But their patriarch pretended not to know anything. Bastard traitor. Long story short, they don't like us much right now. But at the same time, they still report directly to our main family. So we need to be careful. We don't want to cause the main family any trouble. That said... Did something happen? Two hours ago, I got a call from Joe. He... He shot a Sakaki Yakuza. Really? Apparently, he just happened to run into one of them. They were both alone. No other men. It was one on one. They talked shit to each other for a bit. Then... Joe pulled his gun. Luckily, no one saw them. But the police have already found the other guy's body. It's only a matter of time before they raid our office. <sighs> if word gets out that our captain killed someone from a family above ours, it will be considered mutiny. We'll be expelled from so the So are you Tojo just teaching clan, yourself or are you watching like and tutorials and our tiny and family stuff? will go up in smoke. You see why I can't let Joe get arrested for this. Ichi, would you? We gotta pause for just a second. Sorry, guys.
We're back. We're back. As a refresher, Arakawa just asked Ichiban if he's willing to go to prison to save Joe's ass. Joe, being the guy that just yesterday was going to cut off Ichiban's fingers. <laughs> Are you serious, boss? I mean... I've been waiting for a shot like this. This is my chance to finally repay my debt to you. After everything you've done for me. Let him lock me up for 10 or even 20 years. I'd be happy to do it for you. Ichi. Hey, Mitsu. Thanks. Good job surviving another year. <laughs> we made it to a new century. Oh, yeah. Guess so. Damn, you sound pretty bored for a birthday, boy. What's up with you? Wait, you I never knew it was his birthday that he's going to prison. Again? You do it, and have a good time. No! Oh. Going. Huh? Why not? Something came up. Captain Sawashiro spring something on you? Yeah, basically. The new Year's barely begun and he's already working you like a dog. No holidays for the Yakuza. We work 365 days a year. So you're gonna be busy all day? Me too. How old are you right now? Uh, 20, if you really want to know. Why? So in 10 years you'll be 30. In 20, you'll be 40. Great math, dude. What are you getting at? Just eat well and live life to the fullest, man. Um, you feeling okay? <laughs> I'll call you later. All right. Honestly, I don't remember. I'll send you a link so you can join again. Actually, you, you might be able to, uh, you might be able to get to it from the link in the description. a free man for a while. Yeah, screw it. Yo, hit me with one more. Huh? <laughs> sure. Coming right up. Another beef bowl. It pains me to say this, Ichi, but you've been banished from the family effective last month. What? I'm banished? If only he'd been from a family outside the clan, I could have merely expelled you. But this man, not only was he Tojo, he reported directly to the main family. But being banished, doesn't that mean I can never come back? Don't worry. I'll be working on that personally. I'll have the whole thing reversed by the time you get out of prison. Thank you, boss. And perhaps banishment will work in our favor. Just kicked, right? The court will go easier on you now that you're just a civilian. <laughs> Let them do their worst. I can handle a few years in the can. So does that mean he can come back in, or...? With the, the link in the description? I think so. Yeah. 
don't see why not. That's usually what a kick means. Yeah, you should be able to. You should be able to just hop back you in. You gotta the savor every last moment, don't you? <laughs> While eating a beef bowl, for sure. <laughs> Enough stalling. Come back soon. Buddy, did you ever find your wallet? Well, if not, you might as well file a theft report inside. <laughs> we find the defendant, Ichiban Kasuga, guilty of murder. He is hereby sentenced to 15 years in prison. I would have to Joseph it. Hey, you missed a box. So you're gonna. <laughs> Sir, I've completed my quota for the day. May I take a bathroom break? Very well. There he goes getting beat up again. As he used to be Tojo Clan. You think you can be the perfect little prisoner and get back on the outside quick and easy? Idiot, you're a murderer. You could act like a goddamn angel in here, but you won't be getting parole for at least ten years. So I'd say it's in your best interest to get along with us. Not much to say, huh? <laughs> hey, what family were you in? That's a simple enough question to answer. Right. <gasps> the Arakawa family. Arakawa? <laughs> you mean that little after-school club of a family? Oh man, this is such a letdown. Here I was thinking we had a real gangster in the house. What did you just say? I said your family's a bunch of small-time punks. Your patriarch may have been Arakawa the Assassin once, but that was a long time ago. I heard he's gone fucking soft now. You got locked up for that washed-up has-been, and you think it means something? Oh, that's so fucking cute. Bastard. I'll kill you! <laughs> Try your best, little bitch. Oh, you fucking...
The only thing he gets is a hot dog bun and a juice box. Why'd you suddenly fight back? You took it for a whole year. Those guys had to be taken to the police hospital for crying out loud. You knocked all their teeth out. And they were talking shit about my boss. Your patriarch waiting for you on the outside? Yeah. They were calling him a nobody, saying all this bullshit about him going soft. I couldn't just let that stand. <clears throat> well, what's he gonna say when he hears the bad news? He won't hear it. That's why he beat their sorry asses. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about your sentence getting extended. <laughs> I don't understand why anybody commits murder in the first place. But if there really is someone out there waiting for you, you should behave yourself. When someone believes in you, try not to disappoint them. Number 1119. Letter for you. Letter for you. Blah. Apparently it's from someone important. <gasps> it's from Harakawa-san. Dear Ichiban. Well, I wanted to avoid writing to you to while you're in prison, to you to make fun of but you. today my brush just called to me. If your sentence hadn't been extended, I would be planning your big welcome back party right now. I can't tell you how sad I am that I can't do that. <laughs> the days have been so lonely without you. Sometimes I think I hear your laughter in the office, but I always turn around and see that nobody's there. Only a parent knows how truly empty a home can feel. Parents are nothing without their children. I'm anxiously waiting for the day when I will turn around and see your laughing face. P.S. The day you get out of prison, let's get that picking duck we missed. I'm so sorry! When I got into that fight, I wasn't even thinking about how long you had already been waiting for me. An extra three years I made you wait just because I did something stupid! I'm sorry I failed you. I held you up for so long, but I'm out now! I'm finally back! Womp womp. Did you not know they've gotten more strict about enforcing the anti-Yakuza laws? It shouldn't surprise you that bosses aren't pulling up in fancy cars at prisons anymore. In the letter, he said he'd come for me. Not gonna happen. Just too dangerous these days. Yeah. Thanks for everything. 
It's illegal to be Ichiban now. That sure is wacky, ain't it? Uh, you really thought the welcome wagon was coming? Hmm. Uh. Of course, you being in the slammer for 18 years, only naturally you'd be a bit mixed up. <laughs> Gotta say, that's some deep loyalty you've got. Waiting for a boss that never even visited you. Who the hell are you? Kanagawa Police. A detective? I uh, used to be. Now I'm just a washed up DMV grunt, one year shy of retirement. What's a guy from the slowest apartment ever doing here? Come to remind me to renew my license? Is that a service you offer nowadays? I'm here because I have real business with you. You, the murderer who shot a man on the last night of the 20th century. Heck, I even used some precious PTO to be here today. Huh. Well, sorry to disappoint you, but I don't plan on being a repeat offender. That's what everyone thinks when they get out. The moment they set foot on the other side of this fence, Shove it up your ass. You don't know shit about me. You were born and raised in Kamurocho, after being abandoned at the famous Shangri-La Soapland. The owner, Jiro Kasuga, took you in. Then he and his prostitutes raised you. Well, after that, it's by the book. You dropped out of school, committed multiple offenses of shoplifting and assaults, then finally joined the Yakuza at age 16. Oh, you had a largely unremarkable career as a member of the Tojo clan's Arakawa family. Well, till the night you killed an officer higher up on the food chain. And January 1st, 2001, you turned yourself in at Kamaro Police Station. Then, you were sentenced to 15 years at this prison. After getting an extra three years tacked on for bad behavior, we finally arrive at today, where... You were just released about three and a half minutes ago. That about sum it up. Wow. You're my biggest fan for sure. You want an autograph to show your DMV friends? I just do my homework. Great. Whatever. I don't care why you're here. Just get out of my way. There's somewhere I need to be. Oh. Paying a visit to the Arakawa family? It ain't none of your business. Just leave me alone. Oh, but actually, it is my business. It very much is. Nothing personal, of course. Now, you're free to go wherever you feel like, but I'm coming with. What? Are you serious? What? Whatever. Do what you want, man. This guy, huh? Uh, miss... I don't want to insult you, but... Uh, uh, what... What uh, did you do to my hair? I, I tried! It's just, when you asked for a punch term, I had to look it up! The, the truth is, I've never done one before. Uh... How am I supposed to face the boss with a rat's nest on my head? <laughs> what kind of look are you going for, man? Shut up! I just ended up with a bad barber is all. The hell's your deal anyway? You really gonna just keep following me? <laughs> I told you, I have business with you. But I'm waiting patiently for you to take care of yours. So, what's next? You're creeping me out, man. Give me a break.
wondered where you were going. Chikao Suzumori's grave, huh? Hold on. Isn't he the guy that was killed 18 years ago? Yeah, that's right. Hmm. Okay, so... Who killed him? You're looking at him. <laughs> Get real. You think I'm joking? Uh, let me ask you this then. Why'd you kill him? I'd been banished from the Arakawa family, and I just... I, I was so mad, I just did it. You killed someone just because you were pissed off. What are you, a schoolboy with daddy's gun? Nah, you ain't that immature. Now, if I were you, I wouldn't be visiting the guy's grave. Why do you even give a shit, huh? I know that 18 years ago, Suzumori was shot and killed. But not by you. And yet, you turned yourself in to save your family. I mean, everyone knew you didn't do it. The director of criminal affairs, the judge, the jurors. Come on, Kasuga. You served your time. Why are you still lying? Who really killed him? Me. I did it. <laughs> well, you're a real piece of work. Well, you're a big pain in my ass. When are you gonna drop the act? My act? The detective shtick. Why are you following me around? There's no way an old fart one breath away from retirement suddenly decides to babysit an ex-con. Who are you really? What the hell's your angle here, man? My angle. <laughs> Triangle. Well? <laughs> Is the stream still going? Is the stream still going? Yeah. Oh, okay. <gasps> Arakawa san. That's Arakawa. <laughs> Who's this dude? That guy is Arakawa san, isn't he? Why are you asking? Who the hell are you? You some kind of reporter? We don't do media, so get out of here. Go on, beat it. You don't understand. I used to be a member of the Arakawa family. If you were from the family, then we would know who you are. I've been in prison for 18 years. I just got out today. <laughs> if you're gonna lie, you're gonna have to do better than that. Just let me talk to Arakawa-san. You'll be glad to see me, so let me through! Hey! Hold your horses there, dumbass. You don't know what you're dealing with. Yeah, they're busy visiting an important grave today. Go on, get out of here! I didn't do 18 years for this shit. Step aside. If you don't, they're gonna have two more graves to visit today! Oh, we're fighting! Oh my goodness, we're fighting! Oh, they're gonna beat me up. Oh, they missed. The thing they suck, huh? I got this. I'm a genuine. What the hell's your problem? Yeah, we get it, we get it. You think you're getting away with this? Oh, you want some more? Enough! Kasuga! Hey, fellas. We're sorry, okay? Well, my friend here, he's... He's a little crazy, that's all. What the hell you say about me? Look, I'll give him a good talking to. Sorry about all this. We'll get out of here. Let go of me, damn it! Don't you get it? That's my boss!
Boss! Horikawa-san! It's me! I got out today! It's Ichiban! Ichiban Kasuga! Why didn't he recognize me? You were gone for 18 years. Isn't it possible he forgot who you were? Uh, no way! He didn't forget me! I mean, shit! He sent me a letter in prison! I'm sure he just didn't hear me. He's older, you know? His ears are starting to go and his eyes, too. He definitely heard you. Pretty sure your eyes met, too. No, he didn't! I understand it's a hard thing to accept, Kasuga. But take a hint. Best case scenario, he simply forgot about you. If he does actually remember you, then clearly he doesn't want to talk to you. That's not true. There's just no way! I know the problem. What now? Think. Why would he be here? Visiting a grave, probably. Exactly. Visiting Susamori's grave! And I bet if he saw me standing right next to it, he'd recognize me on the spot. Yeah, all I gotta do is make sure he sees me right here, and... Hey, look at that. He's, uh, definitely visiting a different grave. Which one? That's... That's the former Omi chairman's grave. The Omi Alliance? The Yakuza who run Kansai? Why would he visit that grave? And with so many guys? It's a logical thing for him to do, since he's an Omi officer. Huh? Oh! <laughs> Listen here, old-timer. Those guys we just finished fighting said they were Arakawa. Didn't you hear them? Well, the Arakawa family is from the Tojo clan. Tojo clan! Everyone knows they've been at war with the Omi for ages. <laughs> you must have been a pretty shit detective, huh? <laughs> the Arakawa family isn't Tojo anymore. Huh? What did you just say? Masumi Arakawa is currently the acting captain of the Omi Alliance. He's the second in command. What are you talking about? That can't be true. I knew you wouldn't believe me. But think about it. Arakawa was the patriarch of a third-string family in the Tojo clan. Not the greatest position, but the tides changed for him two years ago. You see, the newly elected governor of Tokyo promised to scrub up this economy. There was with the end, you know. So I'm stone yoke. Yeah, so you we're going light. And then hey, if you pull so what is it you want? Wow. Where do you think you're going? Come, Rocho! Obviously! Were you even listening to me? You really need to drop the detective act already. It's obvious you're a Yokohama Yakuza. And hey, at least I'll get one hell of a story out of this, how I nearly got kidnapped right out of prison! Oh, you are such a dumbass. I have to go find Arakawa-san now. He's somewhere in Kamurocho waiting for me! Look, thanks for testing my instincts after I was in the joint for so long. Now see ya! I promise, Kasuga, there's nothing left for you in Kamrocho! Oh, damn it. I thought shit might go sideways. Guess he has to see it for himself.
way, blah 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 hoes. Oh, butt boogers. This is it, isn't it? Hey, are you supposed to be here? You got any idea what happened to the office that used to be here? <laughs> office? This used to be, you know, a girl's bar. What about before that? There was an office here. No, before the bar it was a computer store. Before that it was a maid cafe, and before that... A Filipino bar, I think. But 18 years ago, a, a family had their office here. The Arakawa family? Don't you know what I'm talking about? A family? Not a family, family, I... A Yakuza office, okay? Anyway, I know it was here. Uh, that's too far back even for my old bones. <laughs> but I'll be honest with you, I don't see how the Arakawa family could have been holed up in a dinky office like this. Oh, so you do know them? I don't think there's a soul on this side of town who does it. They're a huge, famous family. Really? Finally, some good news. So where are they? I'm looking for them. Ah, <sighs> not sure. In this day and age, Yakuza can't exactly be loud and proud, you know. Especially not hot shots like the Arakawa boys. I get it. Okay, thanks. Think you'll find them? Yeah. Well, I'll just ask the old woman at the SIG stand where they're headquartered. She always knows what's going on. Okay, good luck. the old woman oh you mean the previous owner <laughs> she moved back to the countryside a long time ago probably taking it easy in an old folks home by now oh I see uh, hey do you know where the Arakawa family office is if, if you're not making a purchase I should help the customer behind you I just want to know where the Arakawa office is hey some of us got places to be give me the usual Yes, here you are. 500 yen, please. Just put it on my tab. Wow. People sure have gotten rude since I was gone. How pathetic. You say something? Where'd you learn your manners, huh? Mom raised you in a barn? Jeez. Oh, and you're walking around town wearing a Tojo badge? Oh, wait. It's Omi Alliance. So, you're in the know. What family are you from? Me? I'm Arakawa. Oh, uh, nice to meet you, brother. Sorry I didn't know you. I'm new. Like hell you are! You're lying, out here with the Omi symbols, faking like you're Arakawa! Wait... You and that crew that visited the old chairman's grave today? Hmm? Oh, yeah, there was a big ceremony scheduled. But only the Patriarch and his officers go to stuff like that. Maybe some of their assistants, too, but that's it. Damn, you must be newer than me. Tell me one thing. Who's our patriarch right now? Dude, you living under a rock? Just tell me who it is. It's acting captain of the Omi Alliance, Masumi Arakawa, obviously. Man, you forgot the name of your patriarch? Get your shit together. Hey, you don't order me to do anything. I'm not Omi. Oh, but you just said you were in the Arakawa family. Damn right. And that family is part of the Tojo clan. 
Tojo clan? You sleep talking, dude? Do I look fucking asleep? No, you don't. You must be one of those Tojo pests still crawling around. We've got permission from HQ to exterminate them on sight. You owe me are the ones who invaded. This city is Tojo turf. Not anymore. I do Tojo roaches need to die already. Yep, to it. The battle is on. Cool. Check this out. Come on now. Korea. Yeah. Come on now! That's how you do it! Ugh. Did Arakawa-san really betray the Tojo clan and run to the Yomi? Answer me! Yes! Haniki! That guy's a Tojo loyalist! Get him! What? Get back here! Stop a dop a tojo waka waka. Huh? Oh! <laughs> Excuse me. I forgot I could do that, and I've just been smashing the A button the whole time. Uh, we're fighting! We're fighting! Guys, with air. That's crazy. Check this out. Come on, now. Absolutely not. Oh, it's Tony Gatsuru cigarette. Oh, shit. Check this out! Come on now! Keep it up! Take it up! What is that? Cool! Check this out! Come on! That's how you do it! We're doing it! We're doing stuff. Whoa! 
Oh, I was walking on top of him for a second. Bikes are nuts, bro! Shit, we've only been doing this for two Enemy hours, strong. everybody. We're gonna remember we still got like two or three there. more to go. Holy shit! I can tell shit. you love your job, but you ought to love being alive more. Else who's gonna take care of that precious camera? A real fist fight between the Omi Alliance and a Tojo clan loyalist! Oh yeah, these picks are go for a fortune! Hey, hold up! What the hell are you doing, man? Don't bother that guy. It was your fault anyway. Come on, get out of here. If I see you again, I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Tough words for a guy who just took off screaming. Yeah, you better run, Kamalop! Kamulop? It's a local mascot they made to improve Kamurocho's image. What the hell is a local mascot? Uh, we're gonna be here all day. Remember the internet? It's big now. Use it. Fine. Just tell me what happened to the Arakawa family. And Arakawa-san. You were in that family once upon a time, right? Stop! You gotta know what happened, being a local reporter. I don't believe that Arakawa-san was a traitor. That wasn't who he was! You really want to know why Arakawa did what he did? Because I do have the scoop. I'm not a journalist for nothing. So tell me! When did you get locked up again? 18 years ago. And Arakawa had a son, right? Yeah, the young master! It used to be my job to escort him! I don't know the details, but he was kind of sickly, right? Uh-huh. Uh, what do you mean, was? Is he better now? He's dead. What? When? How? Hmm. Huh. Would have been about three years after you went into the slammer. As I recall, his condition got worse. There was nothing they could do. Arakawa was pretty fond of him, or so I assume. It was more than being fond of him. Arakawa-san would have died for his son. Maybe the loss changed his perspective on things. Nothing worse than burying your own kid. Yeah. I can't imagine how that must have felt. But... I still don't see how that would make him betray the Tojo clan. You don't? Maybe you can't understand, but once you have a child, the rest of your life is over. The kid becomes your life's purpose, you know? So imagine the grief you'd feel if the kid dies. You just keep existing with your life's purpose pulled out from under you. The parents gotta find another reason, any other reason, to keep living. Uh, 
Couple that with the fact that Arakawa is a Yakuza. I think maybe his new reason to live became... watching the world burn. He wouldn't. Hey, why don't you give me some info now? You really in trouble with the Omi like those thugs said? Yeah. Then you shouldn't just be strolling around Kamurocho. You still got business here? If not, I'd get out of town. Huh? I promise, Kasuga! There's nothing left for you in Kamurocho! But... Th then where would I go? I mean... I don't know, dude. I'm just saying the Omi are looking for you. So I'd get out of town if I were you. I'll go home. Home? Yeah, the soap land you were born in? That'd be your home, right? Shangri-La. Hey! You're not going there now, are you? Don't do it! I'm telling you, they'll kill you! Kill me? <laughs> Let him try. And that's going to start our midway break. Um, it'll be about 10, 15 minutes, maybe. And uh, we'll get, we'll get, we'll get, uh, we'll get right back to it.
That's right, we've returned, intermission's over, and we're fighting these two guys. Check this out. Come on now. Bonk! He's dead! He don't come back from that. It's more than 124. Yeah, it is wrong. Okay, hold on. It's wrong. Why is it wrong?
says 167. And the sub goal guy says 124. Right at all. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to fix this shit. There we go, now it says 167.
There we go. That's all I wanted. All I wanted was the fucking sub count to be correct. I'll never hit 500. How did the font go back to normal? Oh, good. I'm done fucking with it. I'm done fucking with it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It doesn't bother me. This whole fucking stream is a mess. Which is fine. Because this whole day is been. Everything is a mess. Everything's a mess. Thought I'd outlive Shangri La. Shangabanga. So, is this the last stop on your tour of Kamarocho? <sighs> well, I knew you'd end up here eventually. You again? For real? Unbelievable, isn't it? A neon bright paradise like Kamarocho, and here's this dark, rotting husk. What happened here? Do you know? There was a Tojo clan civil war. Some moron drove a dump truck through the place. Well, no one's come near it ever since. But now, it's a den for lowlifes and thugs. Real messed up dudes living there now. I see. I guess I never realized just how long 18 years really is. That's not the Kamarocho you remember. I know that must be shitty. Did you see what they built on Nakamichi Street? What? The new Kamuro police station. Just one more set of prying eyes watching everything in this town. That's because of the 3K plan. Without the Tojo clan throwing their bribes and threats around, the station finally got built. That's why everybody loves our go-getter of a governor. The Kamuro police station is just one of his legacies. Is that true? <laughs> well, that shit doesn't matter to me anymore. Mr. Cousin, Gaming, is that true? I've been nothing but honest with you. I tried to tell you before. The Tojo clan you know is gone. The Omi Alliance from Kansai invaded and won. They rule this city now. So, do you believe me now? Yes. Then we're making good time. 
Well, you came around faster than I thought. Huh? I knew you were the kind of guy who has to see shit for himself. And everyone else be damned. So, I had to let you walk around Kamurocho until it all clicked for you. <laughs> and you got there quick. What are you doing? Trying to guess everything I do? Making fun of me along the way? Well, I didn't guess everything. I just knew you'd come here. <sighs> Look, man. Once and for all, what the hell do you really want? I want you to help me with my investigation. Huh? Arakawa, your former boss, used the police to crush the Tojo clan. Then he gave Kamurocho to the Omi Alliance on a silver platter. You and I both know you can't buy out the police with just Yakuza pocket change. So my theory is some of that money went directly to Juro Horinouchi, the police commissioner. The police commissioner? Yeah, and I got a bone to pick with that guy. I'd love to see the son of a bitch fired. Of course, I'm just a driver's ed teacher now, so I'm just a driver's ed teacher now. But one chance I do have. Uh, actually, I'm not a detective anymore. I think and that I teach I people how to drive. Son. Is that it? Congrats, you solved the puzzle. I thought you'd be game because, come on, aren't you dying to know why he turned traitor? But if you don't agree. Why don't you tell me? What are you gonna do now, hmm? I want to see Arakawa-san. It's all I thought about in prison. I just want to see him, talk to him. Well, your information. Tonight, Arakawa is bringing some Omi officers to a big meeting of local patriarchs. Really? That true? Oh, yeah. And we're not talking about a sweet little tea party. No, it's gonna be a show of arms. I believe that's Arakawa? probably true. I think Ichi moment. probably is autistic. He needs to show his dominance. How do you know all this? I still have my connections from when I was a detective. Had to grease some hands, of course. Go figure. Well, where's this meeting gonna be? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. It really would. Check out that restaurant over there. Oh, uh, actually, hey, I don't think our car hates me. Oh, uh, cause he uh, told me to see the twain uh, one time. It's a pretty classy joint. And you don't take someone to see the twain if you hate them. No, I haven't gone. It's just our <laughs> uh, san once promised to take me there to eat Peking duck. Wait, I get it. This is our san trying to contact me. Huh? Wait, what are you saying? It can't be a coincidence that the meeting is going down there. At a place that meant something to me and him. Of course it could be a coincidence. Come back down to Earth, kid. There aren't many classy restaurants around here. Period. Stands to reason he picked one of the only ones. Hmm? Screw you. It doesn't even matter. What's important is I can finally talk to him. Okay. First of all, the meeting isn't until tonight. And on top of that, the Omi know you're a Tojo loyalist. If they catch you, then you'll have zero chance of talking to Arakawa. Now, luckily, I have a plan for sneaking in. Unless you wanted to bust through the front door like an idiot. Okay, what kind of plan? That's a surprise I'll save for later. Later? What, we're just gonna wait here till they show up? No, we should have just like me. Let's split up and meet back here tonight. Here. Right? Take right. this with you. What is this? A smartphone. I assume you've seen one before? Nah. How do you use it? Why do they make phones so damn complicated? You'll figure it out. Just make sure to pick up when I call you. Too bad. Whatever. Okay, so remember, we're meeting in this part of Theater Square tonight. Till then, keep a low profile, will you? Um, I don't think I'm gonna keep a low profile. I think I'm gonna go fight people. 
I'm gonna punch the people real good. <laughs> They're not gonna know it hit him, but in reality, it's actually, it was me to hit him. And they didn't know that because I hit him so fast. <laughs> Check this out. Come on, dude. <laughs> I don't want to play this game anymore. It hurt me. Check this out. Come on, dude. Too easy. Give you the controller. <laughs> are you gonna try to? Are you gonna try to play? Um, from from where you are with my controller, looking through the stream. You'll never get those perfect blocks. <laughs> Man, I have to be looking at the TV. I can't even be looking at my monitor. I'm sure this is where we're supposed to meet. You really should just sell that business pronto. There's Don't just that. enough input delay. Remember what I said? That you I can't deal play with it business the, the way you do with fish and women. Catch, then release. Take pride in the catch, but then set them free. Any sporting fisherman could tell you that. Really? You want me back at the office? I hope you're joking. I pay you generously to deal with this nonsense. The whole idea behind bringing you on was so that I could enjoy my nights off. Ciao! Wow. Tip. Hey, sorry to bother you when you're busy. What? You seen a burly looking guy in a blue coat around here? A burly looking guy? Sorry, my friend. Myself, I only pay attention to the ladies. Sure. So this guy's obviously yes. gay, right? Why don't you simply call this person? Is his phone dead? Oh, that's right. He gave me a smartphone to call him on. Uh, wait. How do you call someone on this thing? There's no buttons. <laughs> oh, a bit behind I can't the believe times, you just you? said that, Mr. Gaming. Hey, here, allow me. You'll show me? I'll make you the smartest of smartphone users. Hey, there he is! You're not gonna weasel My out My name this is time, Nicogata asshole. Avocado. Shit. The Yomi found me. Look what I do with my smartphone. <laughs> Nico got a you cravat wearing fuck. <laughs> what are you gonna do right by us? And who are you, might I ask? You don't remember us? You sold us that shit property. Ah, that yeah. And then we fight them. Yep, to it. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> Check this out. Come on. Walk. Knocked his ass out cold. Look at his arms. Check this out. Come on. Check this out. Come on. Do you think that there's a feature in Streamlabs where your moderator can do like a sports style instant replay of something? I think that would be super cool. That looks painful. So, in all honesty, did you sell them a crappy business or not? I certainly did not. It was raking in millions of yen each month. I feel like I've heard Nikogata Avocado's already. voice before. If that's true, why'd you offload it? The riffraff you just beat down were insisting on protection money. <laughs> I didn't want their protection. 
We were only asking for a measly hundred thou a month, man. You wouldn't even make a dent in what you were pulling in. Yeah, well, Doc Minator, who does Nick Ogata's like voice? So you know what I told them? If and, you and think what it's else so easy, has why he don't been you in? try running it? And you sold it to him just to make a point? You bet I did. I have a number of businesses, and yes, they do bring in hundreds of millions of yen per month. Ah, that is so unreasonable. Just how much work goes familiar. into it. Exactly. But what, and I who else is he playing? Definitely learned. Businesses are like women. You think having one will be so glamorous, but there's some upkeep involved. You need strategy, you need passion, and you need to work your ass off to make her happy. So, are you gonna do Something what it takes to make recognize? that bar successful? Fuck that, I'm done sinking money in Ash, that catch him. pit. Fine, I'll buy it back from you. But for half of what you paid me. Blast Fuck Ketchup you. is played by a woman. But fine, take it, I don't care anymore. I, I, I've never seen that. No, Ash Ketchum is absolutely <sighs> played by a woman. I don't believe I caught your name. <clears throat> Kasuga. Ichiban oh, who Kasuga. was he in Cyberpunk? Ichiba. I have no idea. That means that number Kasuga. one, doesn't it? <laughs> That's a lot to live up to, but you certainly did that tonight. Thanks for your help. Sure thing. And, uh, speaking of help. Yes. You want to learn how to work a smartphone, correct? In the English uh, dub, worry, Ash Ketchum was voiced by Veronica Taylor in the first Where's eight seasons and Sarah Nato Cheney afterwards. Yeah, Ash Ketchum wow. is a woman. I actually feel like he I played Reese in Borderlands now. 3. Thanks, Nick. Okay. No All right. Mayhaps we should keep in touch. When I meet <laughs> interesting people, I like to think there's a reason. Okay. Why. All right. We can be pen pals. Uh, if you want. But I got kind of a history, in case you couldn't tell. I got out of prison today. <laughs> that, that sort of thing doesn't bother me. Well, you should probably know. I was charged with murder. Is that so? Re oh, is what I you are interesting. <laughs> and rather Who was blunt, he in one punch too. Man? You've got more honesty than sense. But I like that. Oh, yeah? You might say I associate with people who have... Well, Hurry Free Prisoner of isn't black. Many of them are caring much more than you. No kidding. Okay. Yeah. He's also Hurry Free Prisoner. Guys I knew <laughs> From prison. One Punch Man. <laughs> <laughs> Bad news for me if that's what a felon thinks. One point for Mr. Number One. Guess so. Well, see you around, Ichiban. Then give him food. You're not gonna just randomly. I just might. Alright, that's enough. We get it. He's been in everything. Okay, this is the last one. Pal, Who was he in Kingdom Hearts? Huh? Ericus? Hey, what took you so long anyway, man? You're the one who set okay. this whole thing up. Oh, I was hungry, so I went and got a beef bowl. I ordered an extra large one and I got a beef bowl. It was a struggle. <laughs> Guess I'm getting old. Aren't we all? Well, here I am, about to sneak into a high-level Omi meeting. Yeah. Well, all right, let's hope you're sneak ready. into a high-level Omi meeting. I'm going in the sewer, or not? Yo. Yeah, okay. I'm ready. Literally nothing makes me happier than knowing that fact, Mr. Gaming. <laughs> I'm so happy. Okay. <clears throat> We're gonna go in a hole. Gonna get all For stanky real? in the sewer. Gonna pop back up out of the restaurant's toilet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Arakawa's gonna be like, hey, why are you stanky? <sighs> 
up. <laughs> I got K Kanichi Aguchi as Yo. my friend. <sighs> and we're gonna go in the stank hole together. <coughs> oh, good, it's playing the song. It's playing the only dungeon song in the entire game. Will this place even take us anywhere? Yeah, should lead us straight to our building. Careful, though. Never know what kind of lunatics you'll run into. Check this out. Come on. Take your shot. I'm up. You're in it now. All right. What kind of skills do you start with? Well, I guess we're just gonna do the beady down. Going in. Bonk I forget, do back attack back attacks count in this game? I don't I don't think so, right? Take your best shot. Check this out. Why not? Let's right? not do this whole fight. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. You want to fight? Get caught. I'm up. You're in it. Now. Let's go. Welcome! Welcome to Ichiban Friday. We're punching guys. Well, I guess that was a kick, but. Let's go. Oh shucks, I couldn't get past him. Come on now. Check this out. Mock. Oh, Alice. I got this. Let's pick up a crowbar? What the fuck? Let's go. The enemy is defeated. I just beat that guy down with a stick. It's all good, AH. Thank you for coming. Always good to see familiar faces around here. If people come back, that means I'm doing something right. Or I owe the money. Come on now. Take your hand I'm up! Let's go! I hit him real hard. This sucks. Come on now! Check this out! 
Ooh, paralysis. Eat butt. Nerd boy. Let's go. Go in. Psycho and Urbosa are the same voice actors? Hold it together. That is genuinely interesting. I didn't know that. I'm struggling here. Don't Holy shit, I got distracted and let Adachi get dead, boy. This sucks. Come on. How could I have let this happen? He is dead and he will never come back. Gotta hold it together. Well, we're alive. Pretty good. Not bad. So oh, good. Bro, did I just straight up go the wrong way? I can't believe I've done this. I'll never recover. Bicycle. <clears throat> cool. Crazy. Crazy. Come on, Yama. Check this out. Let's go. Let's go. Why no? Is auto battle in this game, or is it just a second one? Best shot. It is. How do you do it? Oh, you don't get it immediately? Yeah. Okay. I'm up! You're in it now! I I'm not even out of combo or chill yet. And we're fucking three and a half hours in. <laughs> Who's Tendo? Hey. 
We're gonna go in the building now. Bukasuga, just don't get offended if people call you stinky. We have been in the sewer. Yeah, I mean, you are stinky. Hey! What do you think you're doing here? The guards are all like, Hey! What smells like dookie? Wake up! We got intruders! Get them! Let's do it! Yeah! Take your best shot! Come on now! Check this out! Hell yeah! Let's go! Stun him, bitch! Go in here! What's up with this? Okay, right? Come on now! Check this out! I'm up! I got this! Get a Yeah! Let's go! Nintendo. Nintendo. Next <laughs> Nice. I'm not apologizing for that joke, okay? Yo. I got half-eaten bento. Is not relevant who Tendo is? Wait, is Tendo the bartender? Bartendo? <laughs> hey, there's no Chinese restaurant here. Where the hell it go? Ah, quit jabbering and get. Oh, we're fighting! Everybody, we're fighting! Uh. Come on now! Check this out! Oh, somebody's paralyzed. Who's Tendo? I just don't remember who that is. Boy, I sure am gonna be awful cross if you don't tell me who Tendo is. No, oh, okay. Hey. Boy, there sure are a lot of bad guys Damn. down there. All hamburgers. <laughs> Old people, jump! What the? <laughs> I love this game. Okay, whoever I kicked in the face, his health should be half. Oh, right off the bat, Kasig is bleeding. Are we going to talk about the fact that Kamurocho's battle music sounds like Gangnam Style? Oh, 
Hold it together. Yeah, Kasuga is just profusely bleeding for the entire game. I'm up. I got this. Let's go. This sucks. Come on now. Check this out. Bonk. Oh, buddy, we bonked him good. Who are these four viewers? I know there's Tiff and Otaku Nader. Who the hell are the rest of them? Make yourself known, lurkers. Okay. I'm fine. The meeting's just down those stairs. I'm gonna move on. And Adachi's hey, like, it's okay. Well, I, I sure don't want you to tell me what to do, mister. I'll buy you some time. Go on ahead. Go! Adachi-san! Just go! I'll catch up when I can, okay? Get moving! I'll catch up when I can. Don't look at him longingly. You known the man for like a day. Oh no, Mr. Astucci left the party. I wonder what I should get from this machine. Oh, there's only one thing in there. <laughs> Oh, we're fighting. It's just me, Kasuga. Only me, I'm fighting. See if we paralyze him. Oh, yeah. Not him, though. Oh, he's pissed off. Gosh darn it. Ah, oh, now he's done snapped out of it. He beat me so hard, I'm not angry anymore. back and heal up again before I go in there? Yeah. See, I'm a smart guy. I'm a little bit of a smart feller. I tell you what. I just run in here and... Oh, I can't break their stuff. I just run in here and I try to... Oh, I can't. Okay. It seems as if they have protected the vases. Captain Sawashiro. Oh, 
Ichi. It's been a while. I'm gonna punch him. Time for you to die. Let's do it. 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 Oh yeah, well how about a, a a little bit of a baseball? Suck on this! Holy shit! <laughs> Look at Joe breaking the restaurant like some kind of ass hat. Who raised this up. man? I've been waiting a long time for this. I got this. Oh fuck, now he's stabbing. Oh, oh! You always were too slow. Never bring glass to a nade fight. This ought to end this war. The captain's got that freakish aura around him. And he's in a fighting stance. Gotta be careful. Yeah! Gotta be careful. Let's punch Come him. On now. Check this out. You're in it now. Cool. Holy shit! Come on now. Check this out. Come on now. Check this out. Make it count. Show me your best. Let's rock. Only through I got this. Your, uh, cool. And then what? Oh. Come on now. Oh. <laughs> He fucking missed, bro. Can you believe that? Come Joe fucking now. sucks. <laughs> you think I'm gonna lose to Joe Sawashiro? Come on now. Check this out. As if. Do you realize what you're doing? Yeah, Once I'm punching Joe. Door, dumbass. There's no turning back. Ichi, are you sure you're ready for that? Eighteen years. I've been waiting to open this goddamn door for 18 years. <laughs> then he accidentally pushes the stuff close. Boss. And who might this be? Pardon the interruption. It seems I have a guest. So, you came. I figured you would. You never disappoint. <laughs> Boss, please just tell me. Why'd you do it? I have a hand. <laughs> It goes both ways. The door goes both ways. Acting Captain, do we have a problem here? No. Nothing serious. The lip syncing is messed no up. No need for you to worry. Boss. It's a delayed. In fact, it's going as planned. Just a little bit. <gasps> Holy shit! 
I'm sorry, Ichi. You have to die. <laughs> oh, I really beefed it, boys. I got shot. The game's over. It's over. Ichiban's dead. Now we're Kazuma Kiryu, avenging Ichiban's death. Just kidding, we're a trash person now. Buddy, that looks infected. Dude, the Japanese take such good care of their shit that, like, I'm sure even that giant pile of garbage was near sterile. <laughs> Like, he could probably roll around in there for a few days and not get any kind of infection in that wound. Morning, sunshine. <gasps> Who is this? You might not have dodged a bullet, but you dodged Wednesday. <gasps> Wednesday is when they pick up the food garbage. Your ass would have been composted. Your wound's not completely healed, but the fact that you're standing means you'll be just fine. Time to go on home. <sighs> go home. Somebody's probably worried about you. Don't you have a family, wife, kids? <sighs> by the way, you'll have to take the stitches out by yourself when it's healed. Hey, listen. Hey, did that guy ever die? He died, right? It's possible. Nah, he's alive. <sighs> He sounds Man, a little bit different than he bet. does in the sequel. I never noticed that. You later. I don't got no money right now. Big surprise. Those are some damn tight stitches you did with that fishing line. You really were a nurse, huh? Well, if he hadn't been a fighter, no amount of stitches would have saved him. Man, couldn't he have thrown that fight? Hey, you know how much money I lost on you? Next time, just kick the bucket. What was that? Whoa, you look closely I'm at the stitches and they spell out knowledge. twink. I'm just wondering if you can cover <laughs> my bet for me. I'll give it a rest. Check it out, I got some big ones at the dock today. You want one, you sore loser? Ooh! You're really willing to share these buttes? I'm not sure, but I'm open to a fair trade. I need gas. Find me a big can of that and we'll give you a fish. Aw, oh, seriously? I knew there'd be a catch. I'll find you some gas, so you better save me a big one. <laughs> what does he need one. gas for? Hey, man. Huh? What do you want? I've got so many questions. Where do I even start? Uh, well, unless he's talking all, about propane. Where the hell are we? This is Eugene Cho. Eugene Cho. Eugene Cho. Welcome back. Isazaki, Ijin you want to recap on what you missed? Yokohama. You know Yokohama. <sighs> you know shit happens real fast in this game. <laughs> Yokohama. Why am I in Yoko? All right, all right, all right. We're gonna stop so we can give Club Chubby a a, a recap. So I, I think you left around. Uh, I think you left around the time we went to prison, right? No? What what happened last? What happened last? We'll we'll get you caught up. Oh, you left before that. Okay. All right. All right. All right. <clears throat> so after all the sad shit with Arakawa telling us about his son, um, <clears throat> the the very next morning, we get a call from Arakawa 
And he says, I need you to come into the office. And he says, so Ichiban, your boy fucking Joe killed a guy. And he's too far up the ladder. So we're going to need you to take the fall for that. And Ichiban, being the big old ass kisser that he is, is like, absolutely. I will kiss your ass until the day I die. So he went to prison for old Joe. You know, the guy that almost cut our finger off. So we get out of prison and everything's different because he was in there for 18 fucking years. Um, it turns out that Arakawa had given his entire clan up for uh, the, 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 the rival clan. And um, Kasuga was like, well, I'm going to go see him. And he goes sees him and he just gets shot in the chest and dumped in a dumpster. And here we are. There's more to it. We met a guy, and and he was our friend for a little while, and then he got exploded by a helicopter. That's not true. We just left him with the helicopter. <laughs> and now we're talking to the guy that, that stitched up our titty. Obama. Well, hell if I know. It's been three days since I found him. you. Him named I got Namba. woken up by a commotion in the middle of the night. When I saw them carry you in, covered in blood. They said they found you in the trash. I thought you were dead at first. Nah, 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 we're past that. You. Now we're just getting shot and thrown in dumpsters. Grave. And you've been what? He was his I can smash? To health? As best I can. But as you can see, I can't do any real treatment here. There are only two reasons you survived. Tough as nails, you're lucky as hell. The bullet missed your heart, your arteries, and went clean out the back. One hair to the left, and you would have been a goner. Damn. Well, thank you, man. It sounds like you saved my life. You're making it sound more noble than it is. What? I only helped because if you died here, it would have meant trouble. What trouble? Were this song sounds like it should cops, be the menu for like a board game compilation. So what? Well, then the media comes charging in. Cameras and microphones all up in our faces. I guess so. So don't you see? Or are you as dumb as you look? We're not exactly supposed to be living here. I don't like using the term, but we're squatters, basically. Dude, all the, all the music Whoa. in this game is an absolute certified Plus, hood classic. Everyone's got their reasons for being here. They came here to escape something. You attract media coverage that blows their hiding place. <laughs> Fucking Otakunators in the background yeah. playing VR on my quest. I get it. Good. Now go home. Home? I'm gonna turn on my camera and point it at him. The stream is just now you watching I'm him sorry, play VR. Angie. I don't exactly have one. Huh? Listen. I promise I won't make trouble for anyone here. So, do you think you could let me stay for a bit? No can do. Please, I'll make it worth your while. Help you out. Help me? <laughs> you think we help each other out like some big, happy family? We live by taking from others. We're leeches. That's our world. It's a world where dozens of us crowd around a convenience store trying to claim half as many expired bentos. If you stay, someone else gets less to I eat. I agree. You don't want that, we don't want that. Get out of here. <sighs> Fine. <sighs> Guess I should have expected that. How oh, fucking shit we died again. Your wound isn't healed all the way. And you haven't walked for three days. It's no wonder you're weak. Guess you'll have to rest here for a bit. A little bit. Thanks. Under all that hard-ass talk, you're actually a decent guy. No, I'm not. I just don't want the shit that'll come down on us if someone dies here. Yeah, yeah. You mean the guy that goes, but still. What? <laughs> I owe you one. <sighs> well, can't argue with you there. So. <laughs> Where do we start with what? I'm not just gonna hang around here fussing over you. 
and see those two sounds are the most memorable thing about that entire game. Okay, sure. What's your name? Ichiban. My name is Kasuga. I punch guys. That's pretty paranoid of you using a fake name. And again, you wouldn't be the first guy living here to do that. You got a shit feel for names, though. Fake ones gotta be more like. That's my real name, man. Oh. Oh, really? You're not. Um. Sorry about that. Ichiban. <laughs> Don't wear it out. And you are? Nanba. N -A -N -B -A. Ichiban. I'm gonna call <laughs> you guess. Ichiban. Fake name? What do you think? I think it's all the same to me. Good. Because it doesn't matter here anyway. You got any money on you? I hope you're not broke. Uh, you're about to be disappointed then. <sighs> well, in that case, you're gonna have to start earning. I'll teach you how. Why do I need money all of a sudden? Are you kidding me? Actually, I just remembered you'll have to get the Chief's permission to stay. The Chief? He's been here a long time. Sort of maintains the peace. Sorry if I gave you the impression it was all up to me. Uh, you gotta get his okay. And your best chance of doing that is to show you can earn. Sounds more like a bribe if you ask me. Call it whatever you want. You need it. The Chief doesn't accept freeloaders. If you don't work, or if you're a liar or a cheat, you're out. So if you want his blessing, you have to work your butt off, make some money, and prove you really want to be here. Got it? I get it. But you never said how I should make the money. I'll get you going. Luckily, we've got some daylight left. All right. Here we go. Here we go where? I said I'd teach you how to make money, didn't I? Watch closely. This is how we do it. Look how gross my suit is. This is what you do for money? Kind of lame. We can't afford to worry about looking lame, man. Having pride around here is a sure way to starve to death. Wait, I think I found a 500 yen coin. That fast? Oh, yeah. It's my lucky day. <sighs> Man, got my hopes up just to have them crushed. All right, now it's your turn. Go check underneath the other vending machines. Trash cans, too. Sometimes people throw away stuff that we can sell. I'm on it. Cool. I'm gonna head back to camp. Come find me when you're done. And don't wander far. There are a lot of dangerous dudes. fucking dude. hobos now! Gonna dig through the trash. Happens every time by default, or, or what? Hmm? <laughs> but the first time I played this, um, I ended up getting a gold plate <laughs> like, immediately. I don't remember which machine it was under, though. I tried, but this was all I found. Hey, Chief. This is the guy I was telling you about. Doesn't he fucking suck? 
And? What do you want, boy? My name's Ichiban. My situation's kind of... I'm sure it's fascinating. Main point is, you were shot, right? Right. So what do you say? Mind if I stay here while I'm recovering? I'm not just a survivor. I'm willing to earn, too. You earn that money yourself. Don't let anyone take Buddy, it from you. Buddy, you better stop earning trophies uh, over there. I get a notification if every you're time. you're refusing to take it, does that mean I can't stay? Mm, I never wanted it. I just want you to realize it's not money we truly value here. Yes, I do. If a newcomer works hard and makes honest money, that shows us he won't disrupt our home. Thank you. I swear to you I will pay back this debt. Debt? Sounding awfully Yakuza there. That's what I was until recently. Actually, I guess it wasn't all that recent. Hmm. What's your story? You know, I gotta mm. commend them. Your patriot Some other shot games? someone who served 18 years in prison for it. Oh, never mind. That's an interesting tactic. You must have felt horrible. Don't know if that's what I'd say. It's hard to describe. Some other games would have had Kasuga tell him the entire story, even though we just played it up to that point. Here. Thanks. We're fucking homos! Try tearing off the tail and putting it in your drink. Sure. It makes it taste like fish instead of piss. Oh. Mm. That's good. It's Ijin Cho style fin sake. So, once you're healed, you're free to leave or stay. Your choice. Once you're healed, you're free to Thanks. continue being homeless. We'll see what happens. I can't stop you. What are your plans tomorrow? You need to scrounge up some food for yourself. Uh, that's for sure. I'll show you how. Let's head out at 5.30 a.m. and get you started with cans. Cans? You mean like recycling them? Pretty damn early to bop, 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 bop. We're gonna recycle cans. The first episode of Ichiban Fridays. 90% cutscene, 10% me making noises. What's up? Yes. Skip! He's just gonna tell me how to ride a fucking bike. It's been a while Hell since yeah. I rode. Wow. This is no ordinary. Woohoo! You can even pedal backwards to reverse. I find that pretty convenient. Shut up! Nope, she's all yours. Just let me play Go the take damn a lap game. Around. See what you can scrounge up. You find a lot of empty cans along the river. My advice: stick to pedaling in a straight line, and you can't go wrong. All right, I'll give it a shot. That man sounds like a Ah, uh, here we go. I'm a hobo riding a bike. Picking up cans is what I like. Huh? What the heck is that? Hey! Hey! Yeah. Fuck me whole ass on this thing! 
Hope I don't crash and eat shit, though. Oh, look. More cans. What's up with those guys? No way. They're after the cans, too? Guess I got me some competition. Good. Makes for a healthy challenge. Well, I did my lap and brought in a decent haul. I'll head back to Kansan. So, yeah, my more anyway. Let's do it. Time for a can quest. I'm gonna get the big one! Time to get big. Fuck! I fucked up. That's money! Time to get paid! That's money! Don't hurt me! <laughs> I more than tripled the goal, that should be fine. What voice? That's the mark! New record? Yes, I can. Streets look cleaner already. What voice are you talking about? That's just what I sound like. Ah, well done. Time to eco points. Yeah, you can eat the squad of smell. Peeps. <laughs> This will do, Con. Uh, I, I sure don't think you can tell me what to do, ma'am. Let it go. Boy, that sure I is kind of rude. That's homeless life for you. But I know you tried, so I'll give you some food. Just for today, though. You sure? <laughs> Can't have you collapsing from hunger. The bakery got rid of their extra bread today, so I went and got some. Beggars can't be choosers. Bread rolls, huh? Hey, I just said we can- Whoa, I ain't complaining. I love bread rolls, actually. Yeah? I'm gonna sneeze. Hell yeah. In prison, all we had was barley rice. Every single day. Huh, but once mind. a week, they gave us bread rolls. I thought rolls. I was gonna sneeze. That was the day I looked forward to. Really? It's just plain-ass bread. That plain assery is what makes it good. See, nothing's plain about prison. Everything's shit. The smell, the walls, and especially that nasty rice mush. But the taste of plain bread, that was the taste of the outside world. I think, I think we got plenty, plenty to know about the bread, man. Shit, bro. Time to pay your dues for the month, fellas. Wait by your beds with your cash out and ready. Oi, this guy. Who's this fool? Zhang, a money collector. He charges us homeless guys for the privilege of sleeping here. What? Why well, you gotta pay him? Is this his land or something? No. But it's been the rule since before I was here. 
<laughs> you don't gotta pay a guy like that. Tell him to fuck off. Trust me. You I tell him to the fuck guy right off. Every time I see him. But the chief says we gotta pay. Freak off, Zhang! I've heard Zhang is a member of the Yokohama Liumang. What the hell's that? A Chinese mafia that's been based in Ijincho for ages. You don't want them as your enemy. Hey, when, when you're done with that round, you might You'll end up here. dead. <laughs> mafia, my ass. But... I'll get this guy out of your hair. Pay you back for helping me. No, don't try anything. The chief already has a deal worked out with them. We need to do what the chief wants. But... Just stay quiet. Shit. Do you even have enough money to pay him? 2,000 yen? No, not even close. Damn it. And I only have enough to cover myself. Look, you better hide in there. I'll think up an excuse. Whatever happens, don't move. <sighs> Fine. Hello, Nampachan. How's business? Good? Is it ever good when you're homeless? No, oh, no. You'll never make it back to proper society with that attitude. Besides, you got a sweet deal going on. Sleeping and drinking all day? Must be nice. You're right. Sorry. Namba, does this box belong to you? Yeah, I needed to pick up a few things. <laughs> what kind of things? Hey, let's have a look. Oh, hold on. Can't a guy have a little privacy? You live on the street. People like you don't get to have privacy. Holy shit. <laughs> Stop! Don't open it! Hey, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> well, Namba-san, you tried to play nice, but you know what? Fuck these guys. Who the hell are you? The fine people here have been taking care of me since yesterday. I see. Does that mean you live in one of these fucking tents here? If so, we'll be taking your rent up front, cash only. Sucks for you, I'm broke. And if I weren't, I wouldn't even give you my pocket change. <laughs> wow, number. Not only did you bring in some cocky asshole, but then you tried to keep him as your little secret from us. I'm gonna make sure you pay for that one later. Hey, Namba-san saved my life! Get your hands off him! Ah, uh, look who thinks he's a tough guy. Every now and then we get a newcomer like you doesn't know his place. You guys bark loud, but you never got the bite to back it up. You go down whimpering like bitches every time. This motherfucker doesn't have hair face. anywhere but his neck. Let's see if you're any different from the rest of this trash. Uh, I think I'm gonna call you Baldy Neckbeard. Stop you. Hmm. At this point, he's gonna kill us both and dump us in the river. But before that, I'm gonna stick this up his ass. <laughs> Come on, Namba. This dumbass give you big ideas? I'll break so many of your bones you won't be able to beg anymore! <laughs> Alright, let's do this! We're gonna punch him real good. Let's do it! Cool. There we go, this is the song. No more Gangnam style battle music. 
You got a shitty defense. Ready? Owie. Check this out. Yeah, we're in it now. Check this shit out. Check this shit out. Y'all gonna love this shit. Watch this. Have fun with this. Or you would if you could see it. Thanks, refrigerator. You're fucking weak. You're getting a tenacious fist. Check me out. Bonk. Now your defense sucks and you're stunned. Ow. Come on, let's get a twofer on the stun. Bonk! Oh, hell yeah! Come on. Get serious. Cool. Good to go. Okay. I killed your stupid buddy. You're in it now. The animation in this game are the the best. Oh shit, he's back. And his defense doesn't suck anymore. Can we get a three for on the paralysis? No? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Have fun with this. I want some more gnarly breath. You're in it, Let's do it. Cool. Oh man, you suck. Come on now. Check this out. This guy's such a dangle. Holy shit, you suck, dude. Fucking curb stomp him. Eat shit, Zhang. I feel the stats going up. <laughs> Moving up in the world. You fuck it. You know I'm in the Yokohama Liomang. You know, I was doing some calculations back there. 2,000 yen from each bum gets you about 100k. My math's not great. You talk pretty big for a guy collecting chump change. You wanna die, asshole? That's what you're asking for. I'll give you one chance to apologize to me. Sounds like the empty threat of a loser. Last chance. Apologize now if you wanna live. Did you hear? I ain't apologizing for shit. You're gonna regret this. Your bark is worse than your bite. Tell me, why would I regret it? You gonna sick your big, tough Liu Mong boys on me? <laughs> Do they even have any of those? Fuck you! We're the strongest Chinese mafia in Yokohama! Trust me, your buddies are shit themselves. They know what's coming! Okay, so I take it all the big boys you'll be sending in to put us in our place are better fighters than you? You fucking! No, seriously. When should we expect them? When are you gonna tell them you got beat up by hobos scrounging for pocket change? How are they gonna take that? Oh, our boy Zhang got his ass kicked. And then what? They're gonna rally the fucking troops for you? Your officers can't be that bored. You'll just end up the shame of the Liu lame. Do you ever shut the fuck up? That's just how these things go. A gangster like you should know that. Officers don't just go out and save their minions from every little street fight. 
shit. Damba, I'll deal with your panty ass later. After I take care of your new meat shield here. Shut up. This isn't even Liu Mang Tur. Oh, seriously? <laughs> so you have even less leverage than I thought, Zheng Chan. Oh, yeah? I don't know a lot about Yokohama, but I'm sure the gangs here are real strict. If you're waltzing across the border to shake us down, isn't that a turf violation? <laughs> so not only did you get whipped by bums, you were trespassing. Honestly, man, I wouldn't even report this one if I were you. Unless you want to make your whole gang a joke. <laughs> 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 You're a fucking shithead. It's hard being the bottom rung of the ladder, isn't it? I can relate to that, actually. Difference is, I learned not to bully people who are weaker than me. Shut up! I Why aren't we bullying him today. right now? And the Let's fact go. that they won this fight hey, bring us means that they're weaker time, than me. So Kasuga's a big fucking liar, is what he is. That was way out of line. Now we don't have to be scared of that asshole anymore. <laughs> you pull something like that again, I'm tossing you out on the street. Our priority is to have somewhere to sleep tomorrow. Don't you dare put that at risk again. He's not really that mad at you. I should apologize. He's right. I was out of line. No. You did what was right. And hey, I got to vent some bottled up anger of my own. I'm sure most of the guys here would yeah, agree with me. Yeah, but said, I you learned not to you. bully people who are weaker Ugh, than me. You don't have to thank me. I gotta we say, beat Zhang, you're a therefore professional he is weaker. Off. And we huh? just spent like ten um, minutes bullying him. not exactly a skill I want to have. Maybe not. Kasuga but is then a again, liar. Maybe being a pain in the ass is just part of your charm, you know? Huh. Well, I never thought about it like that before. So, hey, I guess the Chinese Mafia is some big deal in Yokohama, huh? Not just the Chinese. The city is sliced up among the Ejin Three. The Ejin Three? Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. The girl in the red shoes left with foreigners on a steamship from Yokohama ever to be seen again. So here we go. The Zheng guy was from the Chinese Mafia, known as the Yokohama Liumang. It's over here is the Korean Mafia. They go by the same name as the area they occupy, Gomiju. And of course, there's the Japanese Yakuza. They're called the Seiryu Clan. But to the locals, they're all known as the Ejin Three. I'm guessing the Seiryu Clan is under the umbrella of the Omi Alliance? You kidding? No, they've always been independent, and they're happy to let you know it. Are the Omi in Ejin Show? Yeah, the Tojo clan is practically yeah. Yokohama's next door neighbor. And if they've never set foot in here, you think the Omi alliance This next would technique try? I'm gonna show you, I learned from the Gomi Jewel. protection from outside forces, <laughs> in a way. That metaphorical barrier is known as the Great Wall of Muscle. Hell of a metaphor. So, the Ejin Three work together to keep people from getting over this wall? Work together? <laughs> yeah, right. They're always at each other's throats. <laughs> Doesn't that mean a war could break out at any moment? Yeah. Guess you could call this a Cold War. What's that? Did you skip that day in history class or something? Okay, Cold War is like a powder keg. Any teensy bit of friction can trigger a huge explosion. 
Oh, okay. I mean, would you want to stick your hand into a powder keg and risk setting it off? Hell no. Exactly. So, as long as this Cold War is going on, no one can stick their hand into Yokohama. I get it. There's so much tension, everyone's scared to make a move. But it's amazing that there's never been a war on the inside then, isn't it? <sighs> yeah, I try not to think about that. They can all be pretty vicious. This city would turn into a goddamn crater if that happened. Maybe there's a reason it hasn't. A secret reason. You ever think of that possibility? Secret reason. Like, what if the Ejing Three leaders are pretending there's a Cold War so they can sit back and relax? <laughs> Not a chance. Each gang leader is desperate to be the strongest. Everyone knows that. Whatever the opposite of relaxing is, that's what they're doing. They're gathering strength. Which is just adding more powder to the keg. Scary, isn't it? But for the Yokohama underworld, that's just the way things are. Why are you telling me all this? So that I'll be more careful? More or less. You've already been pretty damn lucky, in my opinion. Lucky? Me? Yeah, yeah. yeah let's get a head count in chat. Who all is actually Shaiyan. still here? I was unlucky, <laughs> sure. But then someone brought you here to Yokohama. The one place in all of Kanto where there's no Omi at the moment. A place where they can't even get in. You're safe from them. I guess. I, I know, know you're there. You're literally sitting right behind me. Show, though. I'll go on and leave. I won't stop you. Yeah, I think I will. See if I'm lucky out there, too. Ow! 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 What the hell was that for? You won't get far with that still healing. You'll be dead in a ditch. I could have done without the demonstration. Oh, and Kazuga? Eat piss. <laughs> What's that? Shit. Hide it, Ichiban. Why? Uh, did you see that? That was a 10,000 yen bill! Yeah, 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 yeah! Hey, hey, uh, uh, calm down. Uh, hey, hey, look, I think I dropped a 10,000 yen bill around here just the other day. You're talking out your ass. It's Ichiban's money. What? Actually, I have no idea how I got this. Ha! Told you it was mine. Hey, <laughs> give it back. Uh, <laughs> oh, you Kichi Chan, my old friend. I thought I'd never see your face again. <laughs> Let me just Can you hear the audio skip? Aren't you beautiful? Huh? What the hell? What's wrong? Oh, look at this. The back of it is blank. But I think it's just stupid play money. Wait, hold on. <sighs> hmm. well, that's definitely not play money. The front looks way too much like a real bill. I mean, look. It even has a watermark. For real? Well, they wouldn't put watermarks on play money, would they? So you're saying it's real, even though it's half blank? Hey, does that mean it's worth 5,000? No, oh, dumbass. It means there's only one thing it could be. It's counterfeit. Oh, what? It's a fake? Why is this so music for this part? Or no, that shit's not even mine. You said you just dropped it the other day. What's with that? Do I look like someone who would have that much? I would have spit it already, man. Come on. Obviously. Now cut it out, you two. But it's yours, right? Why did you have it? Why would you bring that shady shit here? We don't want any trouble. Come on, man. This guy's bad news for the whole camp. We can't let him stay here. I say we kick him out. I told you, I don't know where it came from. I don't even know where I'd get a fake bill. Liar! How did it end up in your pocket, then? Wait. Wait. Let's think about this for a second. Ichiban's pocket where he had the bill has a huge bullet hole in it. So if the bill was in his pocket at the time he got shot, doesn't that mean it should have a hole in it, too? But look, it doesn't. 
And there's no way Ichiban could have put it in his pocket after he got shot. He was barely even conscious. That could only mean someone must have put it there after he fainted. Who would do that? And why? Don't look at me. I have no freaking idea. It was probably whoever brought him here. You got an idea who did that? Probably not, huh? Nope. It's as much a mystery to me as it is to you guys. I don't know why I got dumped here, and I don't know why I have this bill. Seriously, I don't know a goddamn thing. You've got to believe me. Who cares? Look, we're already on thin ice here, and none of us want to give the police an excuse <laughs> to raid us. So let's just get rid of that thing, throw it away, and stop causing trouble. You two are the ones making a scene. How about I bring this to the chief? Uh, not my son. Don't do us like that. Look, I get it, okay? Don't make do us deal. like that. You take it easy. I won't Don't start any do more it, trouble. Boss. We good? Look how tiny my face is compared to my big nose. <sighs> I shouldn't stay here. But I thought you had nowhere else to go. Well, I don't. But anywhere would be better than here. What? I walked around all damn day, and what good did that do? I mean, there's Guys, I think be we're gonna call it out there after this cluster this. of cutscenes. There's just gotta be. Yeah, probably. And we'll, well pick if you back think up. So too. But let's go find one of those next Friday. Oh, sure. Got any leads? Know anybody who be can Be sure give us to a tune reference? back in tomorrow at oh, 7 p.m. Eastern time. We can find something at Hello Work. Man, the Pokemon Legends Arceus. Listen up, everyone. Hey, what are you doing? Guys, guys! Why are we living like this? Has anybody here ever gone to hello work? Eh? Sounds like a big fat no! But you're all perfectly healthy! I've seen some of you build shit! I've seen some of you cook! You have skills! So why aren't you trying to find jobs? Just gotta get Yeah, up you and gotta do figure it. that out for Come yourself. On. You really wanna keep living I like just this yell into just the microphone. taking some risks? Don't you see you can change if you want to? Or do you all just want to die here? Well, I don't. I say we go and find some decent jobs. Anyone who whines about it, I don't mind dragging you. Shut the fuck up. Do you seriously think we're all here because we want to be? Nah. You said everyone has their reasons, and I get that, man. But come on. You still gotta try, don't you? Better than living like this. A little effort can land you a job, even if you have a criminal record. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. Why not? First of all, only a few of us have criminal records. That is an excellent question. Most of us didn't do just anything. Just look up. Uh, then just look why? up what your uh, some, your, your all eastern. All they did was co-sign uh, a bad loan. Others worked hard for their families. Yeah, you're an hour behind, so them. They couldn't it would be six bills. for you, motherfucker. Nobody lives like this by choice. This isn't somewhere you choose to be somewhere you end up do you know what that's like to end up that broken <sighs> and some of us have families who are out there looking for us parents and kids hoping we'll come back and for as much as some of us would love to go back we Hell can't yeah. not when we're still so broken 7 p.m and eastern you think you every friday and just saturday a quick trip to hello work they get back on the grid then all the problems and enemies from their old lives are gonna pop right back up you ever think of that? You think we're just too lazy to work? We all want a job and a living man. But we can't just erase all the things that keep us from having them. So it might not look like much to you, but they're trying! I'm... I'm sorry. You can't force people to be just like you. So knock it off. But I'll give you this. You're not totally wrong. What? You made a good point about having a criminal record. We do have one felon here lying low. Uh, who? Me. But you said you used to be a nurse. What did you do? It doesn't matter. But maybe I found some motivation in that stupid little speech of yours. <laughs> Enough to try, anyway. So, 
I'll come with you to Hello Work. I'll see what it's like to take at least the first step out of the gutter. Let's get a save going. All right, so. On the next Ichiban Friday, we're gonna go take a trip to Hello Work and try to get a job. Hobo's getting jobs. Go into the bathroom and get the suitcase. Then I'm gonna save again. Well, everyone, that's gonna do it for this week's Ichiban Friday. Hope everyone enjoyed, and we'll see you tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern for Pokemon Legends Arceus. Everyone have a good night, and we'll see you next time.